are you, Jim? Good, how are you? Excellent. I'm here uh, spending time with uh, my friend and colleague, Jim Spruner from uh, AAA, right. one of the experts from AAA. Uh, today, we, we've we been driving the new 2016 Sentra, and uh, it's very interesting because we just came back from driving the 2017 Hyundai Elantra and gear difference, but they're yeah. in the same year <laughs> because right. I mean that's yeah. a marketing thing yeah. right the year now yeah and this center has been 34 years in the market they sold oh, no. over 4 million that's amazing yeah and you know one of the interesting things that we found out Javier was that in the last um, three years Sentra has doubled its sales in the U.S. from 100,000 to 200,000, so they must be doing something right. Yeah, but interesting enough, it's only three years or less than three years since they introduced the new one, and now here we are again with a newer one. So that's... Yep, and um, you know, the reliability has been uh, excellent. Uh, uh, Nissan tells us that over 93% of the Sentras yeah in the last 10 years are still on the road so these are pretty bulletproof i have proof of that because uh, a friend of mine in miami she has one from 1995 and the car acts actually falling apart not because it was poorly built or anything it's just that the rust and the use i mean it's all over 20 years old yeah. but she loves it and she said like it runs great i don't i don't feel i need to to get a yeah. new car but why don't we go and, yeah. and uh, drive a little bit and we keep talking about it what yeah let's think? see if it lives up to its reputation exactly. okay? Okay. all right so first thing that you notice, Jim just push a button, keyless start, keyless uh, uh, entry. So one of the many things that uh, Nissan, I think, is doing for it's been doing for a while. They started. I mean, they I, I paid attention to that with the Versa years ago that they had keyless entry, GPS, uh, USB ports, um, lane keep assist. In the car that the Versa was like 20,000. This is 25 tops, 26 tops. I mean, but with that, you get that and a lot more. Right. And um, now they've added so much, uh, just some of the uh, technology is just fantastic on, uh, on the vehicle where it's got the uh, uh, accident mitigation and avoidance where the vehicle uh, uh, does the self braking so yeah we, we won't have to test that <laughs> no or the airbags <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right <laughs> but we did try the um the intelligent cruise control and actually it's, it's great it works perfectly although people who get it for the first time or experience that for the first time you really have to get used to it because it's something that you have to learn to trust i mean because it will work but sometimes you can manage the distance that the car will would control itself from the car in front of it, but you have to trust it. Well, it's, it's kind of like nerve breaking a little bit yeah. at the beginning. I think you're telling me that the car is smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, and me, you know, I was talking for myself. Oh, I think, so oh, maybe yeah. they're both together. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, that's one of the things they say, like, as we mentioned, the, the new center, the current generation center was introduced less than three years ago. And for this one, they say that they have introduced 500 new parts in it. And I, I mean, we can really tell that it's like a much improved car, even though it was already very good. So let me ask you this. Um, they uh, they spent a lot of effort in trying to make the vehicle quiet by putting more insulation. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, they put the laminated acoustic glass. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? Um, well, I mean, here's the proof. We're, we're not going very fast, and the roads here in California, the, this one that were Pacific Coast Highway is pretty smooth. So we're going around 40 miles an hour, and like, we have two cameras set up here. We don't have to really raise our voices or yell or anything. And it's pretty quiet. I mean, that's a pretty good job of, of like isolating the cabin from the outside noise. Yeah, I would agree. We can carry on a normal conversation without uh, without having to shout at each other. Yeah. The other thing that, that, that got my attention is like the interior materials are pretty nice. Uh, the Elantra was very nice too. And I think it's it's very interesting to see how this looks like still like in the entry level uh category cars i mean there's a lot and they like pretty refined material this one for example has leather like pretty nice stitching uh pretty fine design the piano finishing here and the console on the side of the doors i mean i wonder if they make money i, I guess they somebody did the yeah. math <laughs> and, and i like that where, wherever you touch this vehicle whether it's on the armrest yeah the steering wheel if it's on the center console the dash it's all soft material so there's not the hard surfaces that we've seen in in cars in this class the the sub twenty thousand dollar car where they've been just nothing but acres of exactly. plastic this uh 
this is finished off very nicely on the inside. Another thing that is uh, kind of, uh, I don't know what would be the correct word to use, but kind of interesting is that this is a compact car. Uh, you are, how, how tall are you? I'm six foot six. Okay, and how does it feel? I mean, uh, I, I, I'm very comfortable, and, and you may have noticed uh, when we first got in the car that I uh, I adjusted, it has a tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel, yeah. so that uh, I think it, it, it's a nice feature in this size class of car because everybody can find a comfortable driving position regardless of your height. Absolutely. And again, like for uh, $27,000 at the top level, you get incredible technology, as we mentioned, like Healer Star, like intelligent cruise control, the emergency braking thing, lane, lane departure assist, um, rear view That's camera. Navigation. Navigation. I mean, like you can. You, I mean, like the whole list. I think that just years ago, you would have thought you were going to pay, if not twice, but like 25 percent, 3 percent more. No? Well, and I don't think you would have even found it in this size yeah, vehicle, exactly. this class vehicle. They wouldn't have even uh, put that in. But um, yeah, and we have a nice uh, um, uh, sunroof, sun yeah. sunroof in the vehicle, and. Uh, and we and we used the heated seats this morning when it was just a little <laughs> chilly, you know, know, just yeah. a little bit, not too much. So the car starts like the base base model starts around 17 and goes up to like 10,000 uh, 10, to up to 27. But so you have a good range of uh, models that you can pick from. And uh, besides what you do with AAA, you also work with Costco, right? And you say that this is a very popular car, or this segment is very popular in that program, Costco. First, explain a little bit of that because I don't think everybody knows about it. No, but but if um, I, I think everybody knows about Costco, and what a lot of people don't know is that Costco sells cars. Yeah. And uh, they are the second largest seller of new cars in the country, and wow. we'll, we will sell about 480,000 new cars through Costco. And uh, just go out to uh, CostcoAuto.com and um, you can configure what you want, get a price, and the pricing on it is uh, absolutely fantastic. And, and the uh, deal, if uh, you explained me before, is like you put basically local dealers to compete amongst each other for the client that goes through Costco, right? Yes, that's exactly right. So you're still working with the dealer, but uh, the dealer has to show you what they paid for the vehicle and then what they're willing to sell that vehicle for you. They have to show you that. Uh, that paper and of course it's all backed up uh, with the Costco and the Costco guarantee so um, and you, you don't have to buy the extras yeah uh, so, uh, on the vehicle um, uh, that uh, things if, that you don't want if you don't yeah, want an alarm system exactly. they can't make you buy so it so that uh, besides getting a good deal because they have like a pre-arrangement with uh, Costco and the dealers you will pretty much eliminate all the negotiation with the salesperson at the dealership that's exactly right you deal with the fleet manager uh, at the dealership, you're not the next uh, person walking in the showroom, and um, and then Costco uh, stands behind it all, and, and they have an 800 number uh, that if you don't feel something's going right, um, just pick up the phone, call through the 800 number, it'll be taken care of. 97% of the people are completely satisfied with purchasing a car through the Costco program. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, so one final question, and this is going to be <laughs> put in a hot, hot spot. This segment has like everything new. Like we have the cruise, we have the Elantra that we mentioned, we have um, uh, the cruise, the Elantra, the Nissan Sentra, obviously the Kia Optima. I mean, we have a lot of cars in this segment. So what's what's your prediction? Which one is going to sell for the Costco thing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, pe people. The Civic. I forgot the yeah, Civic. Yeah, the Civic. Exactly. Uh, you know, if 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 there's a particular brand that you like, um, and and you're loyal to that brand, and they say 32% of the people in this brand uh, that 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 own one brand go back and buy that yeah. same brand in this segment, um, gosh, I, I would I don't know dr drive them, uh, drive the one that you like. I don't I don't think you can make a mistake on any of them. Exactly, but I will say they're that all good, really. This one drives really nice. Though. I know. I think it, it drives really, really nice. Uh, yeah, good job. And to be fair, like we drove the Elantra, and the Elantra can go a little bit higher in price. It has other technologies, to be fair, also, like the Clarify with the audio system, like more refined audio system and other things. It feels a little bit bigger than this, but like, as you say, like this segment, it's incredible because it's like an entry level segment. The cars are fantastic, and they have a lot of technology and pretty affordable price. Yeah, and the safety aspect because this came out with a 
uh, Insurance Institute of Highway Safety, uh, their highest rating for, yeah. for crash. Uh, so don't feel because you're driving a smaller car that it's it's uh, not safe or doesn't do well in in, um, in crash testing. It does fantastic. Top safety ratings. Absolutely. Well, Jim, thank you very much again for your time. It was a pleasure, as always, spending time with you on the road. And uh, so we'll we'll uh, share this, this with all our audience and hopefully they use that, take advantage of that Costco thing because it sounds pretty cool. Great being with you. Thank you. Thank you.